See all these things up here? Those are units, machines, whatever you want to call it, that um, have to do with anything from the coolers, the freezers, the air conditioning, stuff like that, right? Now, when you get on top of the roof, like we do like with the 360 videos that I've uh, done or that you can go get on the maps and stuff and do it yourself, you see all these little square things and stuff, but unless you know what's up there and what it's supposed to look like or whatever, you may not know except for a bunch of lumps up there. Okay, this yellow thing, I marked it, I colored it on purpose. That is where the, uh, the elevator at the dock is at, so that way it would give us a little landmark type thing to, to give us an idea where we're at, okay? Now, see right here, this is the door of the Southwest entry. Kanika and them came in from this side like this, but a lot of other people here, you got your swimming pool right here, okay? This thing is what we're going to be discussing right here, or part of it anyway. Now, see how it looks like it's got like a fencing or something with, you know, see how it goes around like that? Uh, that's for several things. It could be um, wind protecting the, the, the units and stuff like that from wind or whatever, that type of thing. But this thing right here is what I finally found the other day, like I said, about a week ago. And believe it or not, these little lines on here, those actually is supposed to, what I was told when I worked as a manager, that the markings was where they preferred people to walk. See, see, how it's all these little squares, but you really just don't know what it is. See, there's your dock, there's that elevator, okay? Let's see if this helps, okay? There's a pool, there's the elevator right there. This is what we're getting into. See the units? Now, most of them are on the roof, but there are some places that don't have it, but Crown Plaza has it on the roof. This is what it looks like here. This is a, a repair guy coming to fix it. That's how I got these, these shots. Okay. This right here is the actual cooler thingy, or for the coolers, there we go, the condenser. See this switch right here? That's the on and off. This is a timer, so the box you open it up, it's, the guy said he was checking for the defrost frost timer to make sure that it was working properly or whatever. Anyway, let me stay right here where I'm at. Uh, anyway, this is like a little timer thing. I'm sure people have seen it like on water sprinklers and stuff like that. Okay. This guy, like I said, he's a repair dude coming to check what the issue is with this. I think it's a pizza place or something. See right here how you just turn the power off to the cooler freezer. Okay. Now when he opened that box up, this is where that switch is. It's a big old wasp nest right there. He didn't even care. He just went on about his business and put some wires in there, did whatever he had to do to test it, okay? And then he flipped it back on. That's how simple it is. Can y'all see this? The ones of y'all that are on your uh, cell phones? Because I know most of y'all are on mobile devices, so. Okay, this video that I just showed you is actually a clip from a live I did on, almost two years ago, a three-hour live. I want you to keep all the information that I just showed you in this video in mind whenever you read the assistant food and beverage manager's statements, whether it be uh, how or, or why, when did they turn on the, the unit, uh, where, when he turned around to look for the police, uh, where he said the police were at, things like that. I think it's very important to this case that majority of the public has overlooked you have to get on the roof to turn this unit on 